finding the fraction of a number. Let's try and find out what one half of 60 is. In maths, of means to multiply. So one half of 60 equals one half times 60. There are two main methods used when finding the fraction of a number. So let's try method one first. In method one, we have one half of 60, which we said is equal to one half times 60. The first step in method one is to divide the whole number by the denominator. So we now have 60 divided by two. 60 divided by two equals 30. So we now have to remember the numerator because the numerator is also important in this problem. So step two is to multiply the answer from step one by the numerator. So 30 times one, which equals 30. So our final answer is that one half of 60 equals 30. Now let's try to find one half of 60 using method two. Again, one half of 60 equals one half times 60. The first step in method two is to turn 60 into a fraction by placing it over one. Why one, you ask? Because one is the only number that when you divide another number by it, the number remains the same. In this case, 60 divided by one equals 60. If we'd use two, for example, 60 divided by two equals 30. So our number would change. And we want to know what one half of 60 is, not one half of 30. So we use one. We now have one half times 60 over one. The next step is to multiply the two fractions. To multiply fractions, we multiply the numerator by the numerator and the denominator by the denominator. So one times 60 over two times one, which equals 60 divided by two. And 60 divided by two equals 30. As you can see, both methods give you the same answer. You should practice both methods and then decide which works best for you and which makes more sense. Let's try a different question. Let's find what two thirds of 24 is. Let's use method one. Two thirds of 24 is two thirds times 24. What do we do first? That's right, we divide the whole number by the denominator. So 24 divided by three. And 24 divided by three equals eight. What do we do next? That's right, we multiply the answer eight by the numerator. So eight times two, which equals 16. So two thirds, of 24 is 16. Let's try method two. Two thirds of 24 equals two thirds times 24. What do we do first? That's right. We turn 24 into a fraction by placing it over one. We now have two thirds times 24 over one. What do we do next? That's right, we multiply the two fractions. How do we do that? That's right, we multiply the numerator by the numerator and then the denominator by the denominator. So we have two times 24 over three times one, which equals 48 over three.
and 48 divided by 3 equals 16. So again, we found that 2 thirds of 24 is 16. Let's try one final question. Let's find what 3 quarters of 75 is. If we try method 1, we divide the whole number by the denominator. 75 divided by 4 does not give an answer that is a whole number, as 4 is not a factor of 75. When the denominator is not a factor of the whole number, using method 1 can become quite complicated. So let's try method 2. So we have 3 quarters of 75, which equals 3 quarters times 75. So we make 75 a fraction by dividing it by 1. What do we do next? That's right, we multiply the fractions. So 3 times 75 over 4 times 1. So 3 times 75 equals 225 and we place this over 4 by 1 which equals 4. We now have 225 divided by 4. 225 divided by 4 equals 56 and 1 quarter. This is the two main methods used when finding the fraction of a number. Practice both methods until you find the method that you are most comfortable using. And remember, always enjoy your fractions.